Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. Quick diagnostic video, really important information because everything's a bit opposite here. Uh, all the things we've told you, sometimes the opposite applies. You can see the kilometers on the vehicle. We're gonna go and have a look now at the diagnostic tool. The load reading we're always looking at, only 7.8, 7.4, 8.2. And no, it's not a manual, it's an auto. What is going on here? Well, this is why I try and tell you to keep it simple. We know how injectors wear, and you replace them based on averages by kilometers or age, because the diagnostic isn't always a reliable guide. One thing that can happen with injectors, for whatever reasons, that's in another video, but in this video is the three key readings that we normally look at that normally go higher in sync, the three of them together, but this time they've gone lower, and we've seen it many times before, which is why this is a really important video. So, uh, that's my fault because I've got the aircon on. Let me turn that off and we'll get the load back to what it should be. All the accessories off so that it doesn't make any extra load, right? So, very low reading, 7.4, 7.8. Now, let's just take a quick look at the other key ingredients. And you can probably see one already. The other one we always look at is the injection volume. Why is it only around four and it's even touching in the threes? Let's just watch it for a moment. See that? Yep, very low. That is a problemo. Now, feedback for these. Oh, apparently, oh, they're great. Everything's okay. This is why I try and tell you that if there was a rating on how important the feedback values are, well, if they're giving you a high rating that's, you know, high as in, you know, two or three or four, Obviously, anything over three is off its head. Anything between one and three could be normal. Depends on all the other readings and how old the injectors are. So let's not worry about one, two, three, four too much. But I hope you've been watching the injection volume number up the top there being about four. Now, there's another important one we always look at. It's already in the picture. Now, I always say pilot one, pilot two, usually about the 430 mark, as you'll see consistently, very consistent, that one, which is why we don't need to talk about it too much. On the 150 Pratas or the later Hiluxes, it's more like around the 450, but the important one, see the main injection period, have you been watching it? Because as the injectors get flogged, look, that should be in the order of five to 700 on like a 2008 Hilux or Prado. You're usually going to see it around the 550, 600 being pretty well ideal. They do jump around a bit. As of check out the injector, the diagnostic playlist, and check out all the diagnostic videos to learn what readings are right for your vehicle if you're checking your own. Or you can just stop wasting your time and get your injectors replaced based on averages, just like you do with your oil and your filters and stuff like that. If you go to your normal servicing in your normal service book, that's what you're doing. You're replacing it based on averages. You're not checking your oil. You're not sending it for testing. You're not checking your filters. You're replacing them at those set intervals. They're also supposed to get checked in case they need changing more often. So you can check your injectors if you like. But see what's going on here? Main injection period, look down to 280. So we're not seeing 550 to 600. We're not seeing the usual problem where it goes high us, you know, 700, 800, 900, you know, two, 300,000 K injectors, 900, they're off their heads, over fueling. We see the opposite situation. And there is a particular brand of injectors that usually cause this problem without, you know, naming anything we just don't need to we're not really into bagging other brands sometimes brands like Bailey's come up you know and we say because it's just what it is but you know often we just don't need to mention it so in this case I don't know what injectors are in this engine but I'll tell you what I'm pretty sure we're going to be changing them soon and we will in another video that's why you subscribe turn the bell on so you don't miss that information right I hope you've been watching it main injection period you know it's off its head so don't think because you're looking, doing your own diagnostic, oh, mine's done 300,000 Ks and it's fine because you've got these numbers low and your feedback values don't look too bad like these ones and you think everything's okay. Wrong, okay? Anyway, that is no good. That's a video, just a short one. Wanted to show you that. This one is the one. So you can see 323K. We've done an inspection video on it recently and this uh, diagnostic is part of the inspection. So... Rather than uh, show the client and everyone, it's just easy to do a video and show everybody and help educate everybody. Hope you liked it. Please hit the like button and, you know, subscribe, turn the bell on.
bada bing catch you on the next one so yeah